Hello and welcome. This is a very short, what I'm going to call kind of quick bit tutorial thing, uh, just to show you how using this uh, phone such as the S10 or a number of other uh, Android devices, which I'll list in the description below, we can create the 3D effects that you are so familiar with um, on Facebook using the iPhone, typically. So in order to do this, your phone needs to be able to have two or three lenses. You need to be able to also extract the depth mask data and the color data as separate channels. Uh, like I said, if you're not sure if your phone can do this or not, I'll list in the description below some phones that we know it, this works with. So to simply start off, I simply would hit my camera option down here. I want to now just simply swap my camera to myself, for example, like so. Let's just get rid of mini me up there. And I want to make sure that I'm on live focus mode. So what this does is it allows me to take the image, but um, later on, if I want to adjust the sort of things like the zoom or background, I can always do that. Now for this, I'm only interested in it basically capturing the two channels are separate. So the depth and the RGB value. So I'm not actually bothered about what any of this is in a sense. So I'm just going to simply make sure I've got something in the foreground, something in the midground, which is me, and a background. So I'm going to try and find somewhere with some detail, like so. I'm just going to simply take my picture. If I preview my picture now, you'll notice this is, should be a live focus image, so I can always go back and change my effect. I simply now want to share this without making any changes, and I just want to email this directly to myself. I don't want to make any adjustments to this because any adjustments I make will break this link between the depth and RGB values. So I mustn't resize it, I mustn't adjust anything, I just need to send it as is over to myself, like so. Now if I hop on over to my computer, we'll look at how to do the next stage. So now I have my image downloaded onto my machine, which I've saved here. I can just simply preview this. So this is my image I've just took on my phone. Uh, it's not perfectly in focus, obviously, because I did this quite quick. So you might want to spend a bit more time and make sure your details a bit better. But for this, this will work for the example purposes. I'm just going to simply then on my machine, I'm going to go to this website here, which is omnivert.com slash 3D photo slash tool slash extractor slash photo. The link will be in the description below. I'm going to simply upload my image that I've just taken. So I'm going to go to my downloads find the image I've just downloaded and what this will do is it will simply upload it to the website and it will then create this zip package and in this zip package we will have our color data, our RGB image without any of our effect applied that you'll notice but we'll also have this second one here which is our image depth now just a few things to highlight here uh, basically what we're looking for is the sort of semi-white to be our foreground, this grey to be our midground, and ideally black to be our background. Now you'll see here that this probably won't be the best effect because I took it quite quickly so I didn't really consider things like lighting and distance when I took this, but we can see what this does in a second. So I'm just simply now going to go over to Facebook, I'm going to upload my photo and video, I'm going to go over to my two files and I'm going to select both. So I should have this image underscore depth.jpg and image.jpg. I hit choose and it, with these two images uploading at the same time, it should generate us a 3D photo. Now it's kind of important to highlight that um, if we wanted to adjust this we could do, so we could simply open our depth mask in Photoshop and adjust our light values, so our white and our blacks, to get, make the effect more noticeable if we wanted to or less noticeable. You can sort of see here that my knuckles kind of like distort and stretch, so this is not perfectly done and if I wanted to really do this properly I would open this up in Photoshop and I'll do a bit more work. Uh, if you see here, this is a depth mask from a earlier picture, so this is a much better depth mask, so we've got this much better clarity between our foreground, midground, and background. 
So again, if it doesn't work the first time, retake your photo and try again, or simply open your image up in Photoshop and or uh, your program of choice. And we just want to, like I said, adjust these values to create the illusion. You can also create a 3D photo from scratch, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. But this has just been a very quick overview of how you can create the 3D photo effect on Facebook without having an iPhone 7 Plus. Thank you for watching.